we're sitting here and with a situation whereby we're losing our rhinos, but we know for a fact that they're going to a better place. On the other hand, to watch rhinos that you've worked with for such a significant amount of time and uh, spend so much time with them and then watching everything come to an end, it's got to be a bittersweet moment. But look, uh, it reminds us again that we are in conservation, not for the sake of our feelings, but for the sake of the species. So if the species stands a better chance of survival elsewhere, then I don't think we have a right not to grant it that platform. It took years of planning and years of working towards this moment. And uh, we've worked all so hard. And now we are gonna move these animals and they're gonna go to Mozambique. started the first rhino, 6.41, so that's great. Can we change so? Plant for the rat. Okay. Get the rope off, get the rope off, get the rope off. The runner was 100% awake. Don't ever want to do that again in my life. No, that's 100% uh, awake. Okay, let's load it. So this has been an incredible collaboration between Exaro, a mining house, and Peace Parks Foundation, who are managing Sonoma National Park. Through this collaboration, Exaro have donated a total of 37 black and white rhinos, and Peace Parks have been the recipients of these rhinos. I think the biggest challenge was loading that old black rhino cow and then this cow was very awake, struggled to walk her. Otherwise, everything went well. I mean, that being said, we still finished 10 to 10. They're in the boxes and we, although we were a little bit stressed earlier, it's all worked out well. And we've got, uh, and we've got uh, eight or 10 animals in the, in the box already. So I'm hoping in the next hour we can set off and be on the way. It's been pretty much experimental what we've done here with this water. But every single rhino has now drunk at least 30, 40 liters of water, which has been great. So we've designed a system which fits in the front of the boxes and uh, it's, it's really easy to And it to doesn't fill get up. in the way? And it's easy to fill up. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we're ecstatic. Eh? So we're just ahead of the hydration curve. With two days, they dehydrate very quickly. They can lose 10, 15% of their body weight. So. A huge relief to know that they've actually drunk some water. Next, when we're done with the water, we'll put in some feed and see how they do that. We're 90% of the way there and we've got 90% left to go. Well, I'm, I'm sad for Monkety's loss, but glad for our, you know, the rhino that came here. So we now have a proper uh, rhino breeding population. I see there's some young calves that came with, so the future really do look bright for Zanar for the rhinos. We're delighted to have the last rhino offloaded in the pens at Zanar, which brings the total, I think, to 37 animals that have come all the way from South Africa to Zanar. Epic journey, 48 hours and yeah, we're just grateful that it's gone well and uh, 
everyone needs a deserve a dress now, including the rhinos. Again, we're receiving more 10 rhinos. This is really exciting exercise and feeling that we are, in fact, rewarding Zinab. It's an hectic, the mere fact that we've managed to see it through and it's a success. Look, <laughs> I look back and I realize all the effort that we put in and all the hard work, I think it was worth it. We're about to release the last rhinos back into Zinab. Exciting moment for us. The question, will runners be safe in Mozambique? After a year's worth of uh, hard work, we've sort of changed that mindset and show it, it can be done. It just needs to be planned properly and controlled properly. So it's a combination of having the resources and having the people that actually want to do this. So for that specific reason, I believe they are very safe in Zanaf and I'm sure it will be the same situation in any other national park that we take rhinos to.